In the way on the north coast of Donegal, next stop Iceland is a beautiful loch, just a mile from the sea that's stuffed with salmon, sea trout, brown trout and char. You're going to have to take my word for that because today is the worst day of the year to fish Glen Loch. Bright sunlight and flat calm. We will simply have to do our best. Gavin from Letterkenny Anglers is the man we meet on the bank. Now, I've got a seven-foot travel rod that has caught fish all over the world, but never an Atlantic salmon. Against his better judgment, Gavin lets me use it today. You've taken the four-pound braking strain off my... Uh... <laughs> yeah. why, why would that be? Because <laughs> you don't know if I took it, it just smash everything. <laughs> you just ripped that four-pound braking strain off my... <laughs> Really, okay. Well, we'll just double. We'll double it to eight, don't we? Eight. Okay. Eight pound. All right. I'll go with it. Because if, you, if you're lucky enough to get a good fish, you want a wee bit stronger stuff on. <laughs> Gavin also shows off a typical Donegal fly box. Well, you have your cascades, don't we? That everybody knows that work well here, they're on here and all year round, more. on the point there. And you would have your traditional. For the sea trout and trout flies, if your goat's toe, you nearly always put on the top dropper. Great for sea trout and salmon. If you're Donegal Blue, if there's a good wave, at times they would come and look at the muddler and maybe take one of your other point fly or your dropper, next dropper down. He settles on an Alistair. One of my favourites. <laughs> Got a lot of fish on it. <laughs> then it's on to the loch. First place we try is Sea Trout Bay. The clues in the name. A lot of sea trout and salmon spawn. There's a stream here at the top of the, the bay. There's a lot of fish, the fish that are here now are staying here to spawn and take. The other guy in the boat is the man who brought me here, Chris de Marguerite, who owns the Glenmore estate in Donegal. Chris is using a proper rod. Whenever a breeze ruffles the lock, Gavin stops the engine and we cast. Otherwise, we troll. So what is a good day on Glenloch? You could be lucky here getting a couple of salmon today. The days are conditioned to rightly. Like. You're being modest, what was your best fish this year? <laughs> it was 18 this year, 18 pound, like, lovely fish. Uh, Barra Silver, like, great sport. What that time of year was that? It was the 23rd of May. But normally the fishing's good here from, she's open from the 1st of January to the end of September. And the fishing normally picks up around near the end of March, April, May, great for the spring fish. You'll get fish come under the system early, January, but they're, you know, they're not there in numbers. Like. And can anybody come and take one of your boats or do you have to be? Yeah, anybody can come, pay a day ticket. It's uh, 20 euro for a day ticket. Or you can buy a season ticket, which is 60 euro, which covers you for the year for Glen Lake and all our waters that we have. So it's just, if you're going out a couple of days, it's makes sense to buy a associate ticket like for 60 euro. Yeah. There's plenty of fish here, and there have been from day one like so. It's just, it's just getting the right conditions and <laughs> can no matter hooking into one. Come on Chris, get on with it. <laughs> Chris is giving up, he's in a mess. <laughs> as well as a fanatical salmon angler, Chris is a star of the music biz, playing in the band Simply Red among others. The joint owner of Glenmore is his bandmate, singer Mick Hucknell. It's not so much escapism, really. It's just, it was more a case of just, you know, just feeling like you've got off the planet for a day. You know, there's something about fishing where it consumes you. You know, and you can be going through some pretty rough times, or you know, tired, or whatever you're feeling, fatigued with life, or whatever. And there's something about when you get on a river or sitting on a lock or anything, and you're concentrating. You don't think about anything else. And I just think for me, it just gave me the headspace that I needed. Well, we blank. Probably just as well with my rod, but others have not. With a dab of wind, Glenlock is a great destination for lock fishing for salmon. Here's a film on YouTube of a man catching a 12-pounder on a 9-foot rod. For more about fishing the lock, email duffy.gavin1 at gmail.com.